Well, Jack, Agent Blaskowitz is certainly full of surprises. There's no denying that. No, sir. Of course, I always knew he was resourceful, but I never imagined he had such um, expert interrogation skills. <clears throat> well, from BJ's interrogation of the officer, we now know the approximate location of Death's Head's so-called X-Labs in occupied Norway. What have we learned from our defecting scientist? Well, unfortunately, not as much as I'd hoped. He was pretty badly shaken when we got a hold of him, and he still hasn't completely recovered. He kept referring to a Project Uber Soldat. Super Soldier. Yes. From what I could piece together, it involves some bizarre synthesis of robotic and biological engineering. Uh, for what purpose? Apparently, to create the ultimate killing machine. Good Lord. According to the scientists, this project is Death's Head's baby. The thing most near and dear to his heart. And he's been working on it in one form or another since 1937. I suppose that explains the proto-soldier blueprint and those loping monstrosities as well. But it still doesn't explain the involvement with the occult. No, it doesn't. And there's only one place where we're likely to find that out. Yes, and that's why Agent Blaskowitz is on his way to the X-Labs in Norway as we speak. Still won't start. Are you still trying to start the generator? No. Is someone there? Absolutely had it with this place. Another day like today and I'll be ready for the insane asylum. What is it this time? 
It's that stinking rocket plane again. Oh, God. Remember the cracked O-rings on the reserve thrusters? You know, the ones we've known about since last August? The same ones the Leutnant never gave a damn about? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, now, I have to go out in this filthy weather and change both sets because someone in their infinite wisdom decided to go to full standby in two hours. I'll bet that was dead set in the okay. Thank you. 